Amazon is working on one of the most important changes that will happen this and next year. And it's called migration of MWS to SP API. We covered one video on the migration of this channel. You can watch it actually here where we explain five steps of migration process. So if you want to migrate your app, then you should look at those five steps that we cover. You can simply use our help during those five steps and do it on your own. In this video, I just want to update you on uh, important dates as Amazon recently published them. So yeah, let's jump to it. So this is Amazon's um, documentation and they are publishing here important news, important information about the SP API. Recently, they published one of the most important changes, uh, basically new dates. So here you see that Amazon Marketplace web service MWS in short will no longer be available starting on April 1st, 2024. So actually Amazon decided to postpone the deadline because yeah, people simply cannot catch up. Uh, migration is a very important topic and developers struggle to do so, especially companies where uh, there was a developer or some external company agency that built some automations using the MWS, let's say five, 10 years in a totally outdated technology. And now new developers are struggling to migrate because uh, you need to have a knowledge of the previous script. You have to understand how MWS works and you have to understand how the SP API works. So definitely this is a tough topic when uh, you are a private developer running your private app. Um, so if you are struggling, such, just hit us up in the comments. We are here to help. This is our main service for this and next year. Let's just continue. So this is the most important date but it's not the only one. So here they said that all private MWS developers might, must take the action. All right, and now let's talk about the new dates. So when it comes to those three sections, MWS Merchant Fulfillment, Orders API and Repos API, in which my opinion are very important APIs. We did many integrations with the Orders API and also Repos API. We even did separate video tutorials on this channel where we are showing you how to gather data from those APIs. So previously, those APIs would be appreciated starting um, on 1st of August 2023, but Amazon postponed it and now the new date is uh, September 1st, 2023. Then the other sections, which are products, API, fits, finances, um, and so on. Instead of January 1st, 2024, it will be April 1st, 2024, right? So basically all of the sections uh, will be outdated at April 1st. Uh, they just listed them here. Also, one of the very important things is restricted data token, RDT token. So all developers who are using the SPAP application and have the SPAP AI roles assigned to this app um, and related to direct to consumer fulfillment, shipping, tax or reports must use a new RDT token via tokens API. Um, in order to make a successful call. So if you're using those um, sections of the API in your current app, you should be aware that you will need a new token uh, from Tokens API, which we can also help, but yeah, just let us know in a comment. Now, uh, you may wonder which marketplaces are affected. So yeah, Amazon make it super simple. All of the marketplaces are affected at the same time. So no matter if you are just having the app on a German German marketplace or US, the migration will happen to all of them and the dates are and the dates are also the same for all of the marketplaces. So here and what action is required again, basically a migration, uh, but the deadline the deadlines are postponed. The new token, as I just mentioned, and uh, Amazon is also saying that if you are using a private app, you may consider using some of the public's, uh, public apps from the uh, App Store. Uh, however, those are usually SaaS solutions, which definitely can solve a lot of your business problems, but they are not tailored to your own situation. So if you previously had a custom script created by some developer or external company, five, 10 years ago using some outdated technology and you want to migrate, then those public apps won't help you at all. You will have to rewrite the logic on your own or use the help of the 
uh, external consultant or a company as us. If you are struggling, just let us know. Uh, we are here to help. Okay, that was it for this video. That was just a quick um, update on uh, migration, as this is a very important topic and should it be neglected. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I see you in the next one.